Hello, today I am going to show you how to create the wheel for the F1 racer and of course other circle shaped objects. I'm going to show you the wheel but the techniques that I use to create this wheel can be used to create many circular objects. Uh, if you're designing a rim for your car, a real rim for your car, you'd want to use these techniques to make that with. Uh, or just anything you can imagine that will be circular. Um, a donut. You can create a donut right here in um, Inventor if you like. Okay, so here we go. Let's learn how to make circular things. Uh, first off, I want to open up Inventor if you haven't already opened it up. Now, of course, I have some references here, some drawings and things like that that I'm going to use to uh, show you how to make this wheel. And when I make this wheel, uh, you know, I'm going to imagine this wheel to be cut in half, starting off by looking at it straight on, just like this. Okay, now I'm going to actually slice the wheel right down the middle this way. Follow my cursor. Okay, I'm going to slice the wheel just like that. Okay, and again, I'm looking on it straight ahead, just like this. All right, and I already have a drawing open uh, of the wheel. And, of course, I created it as if the wheel was lying on its side, lying on the ground. And uh, these are all my measurements that I'm going to use to make the wheel. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a profile. I'm just going to create this portion right here in my uh, 3D drawing. And then I'm going to use some techniques and what have you to actually get to the whole wheel. So first thing I want to do is start a new drawing. Uh, click here on New. And of course, um, normally your um, your create new file box will open to the English uh, drawings and um, 3D assemblies and what have you. But we're going to switch to metric. Uh, this particular wheel here is all measured in metric. And I'm going to select the standard millimeter. And then create. And of course, I want to check my project file to make sure that I am putting this in the F1 Racer folder. Alright, so we start a sketch by clicking on the Start Sketch button. My preference for this is to use the XY plane. And um, of course you can use any of the planes and it's just a matter of what you get used to as you go along. Uh, there's no right or wrong as far as which plane to use. I personally feel that there are some um, reasons that you want to uh, select one plane over the other but uh, those are preferences that you have to create you know have to form yourself um, so I'm gonna start that sketch and I'm gonna draw it loosely when I say draw it loosely I'm gonna go ahead and click line okay when you draw things loosely you want to stay away from locking into centers and things like that see how that little uh, yellow dot turns green there it's locking into the center of the uh, the graph here and um, also it'll also lock on the line it won't change color so it will lock on the line you might want to be careful about that I am going to use the vertical line however in this drawing I'm not going to use the horizontal line so I'll make sure that whatever I draw I don't stop right there on the horizontal line because then it automatically creates a constraint right there in that spot uh, but it's okay if I want to use this line the vertical and I'm going to loosely draw the object um, and worry about setting the dimensions after I draw it. Um, if I you know, remember correctly from the drawing, it's kind of a boot-shaped object. So I uh, come along, this is like the back of the wheel, the part that meets up with the hub. And I draw the line straight down. I'm not worried about how long it is yet. I left click so that I can uh, get myself another direction here. And this is the part of the wheel where the rubber meets the road. Okay, so I'm going to just loosely draw that, click, and go into another direction. This is where the white walls or the letter walls are at. And I'm going to click. And again, I'm going to move over, click. I'm going to move up, click. And I'm going to move over here. And I am going to let my little yellow dot turn green when I get there. Uh, and this is to close the loop. Um, you have to have a closed loop when you're building uh, 3D objects or the computer is not going to know, you know what you're working with when it comes time to do extrusions or revolves or sweeps or things of that nature. Alright, so I have that boot shaped object. Now I'm going to dimension uh, all the parts 
and if I click on dimension I can start um, creating all the measurements first thing I'll do is go to my drawing that I have and down the back of the wheel remember we said we're just drawing this this quarter of the wheel right here all right and I see that's 13.5 inches from here to here so I go back to my drawing and I'm just gonna click on the line itself and drag outwards it's pretty close all right but I'm going to type in 13.5 and I'm going to click the check mark to accept that uh, next I'm going to draw this or I'm going to dimension this uh, bottom portion of the wheel go back to my drawing and it is 14.96 millimeters wide click and type in 14.96 and click the check mark to accept all right next measurement is the sidewall and that is nine centimeters or millimeters sorry uh, forgive me if I may, may even call them inches from time to time but just remember that we're working in millimeters here so nine millimeters accept okay and the next one I want to draw let's say I don't have a measurement here but I do have this measurement up here and I do have this measurement from here to here so I think what I'll do is I'll create this one first 4.50 drag it up and make it 4.50 millimeters and this one I remember was 7 millimeters adding this will over constrain okay, cancel uh, if I get a message like that I can always delete one of my constraints that I've already created but it's gonna stay that same size okay so what I'm gonna do since I just got that message uh, it won't let me over constrain the uh, drawing so I'm gonna come over here and right click on 4.5 first I'm gonna click OK and then I'm gonna right click on it again and I'm gonna select delete as you notice it's still the same size click back on dimension go here and create my seven millimeter inside depth of the wheel there we go okay so now I'm almost finished um, there's two things I got to do. One is I got to create some um, fillets. As you know, you know the wheel when it uh, touches the ground, you know it's not completely flat like this. And neither is it in our design. So I'm going to click on fillet, and it's already set at two millimeters. So if I go back to my picture, you see here the radii on the fillet is two millimeters. And some of your computers, uh, when you select on the fillet, it may default to uh, 0.125. I think that's one of the more common ones. Um, but it just depends on what you've used recently as to what it'll default on. Mine just happened to default to 2 millimeters. And it's also the size that I want. So I'm going to fillet some corners here. I'm not going to fillet this corner um, at all. This uh, corner here kind of belongs to the structure of the wheel itself. And again, it's just a toy wheel, so we're not worried about any kind of drivability or what have you. But I'm going to um, fillet this corner here. I'm going to fillet this corner across here. And I'm going to fillet this corner right here. Now, if I come down here um, to fillet this, I choose the bottom horizontal line. I click on it. All right, and then if I hover over to this vertical line, you'll see that I get a preview of the fillet right there, right there below the cursor. All right, and if I click on that line, then it goes ahead and it makes that fillet. So I'm going to do the same thing here. Click the vertical and then click the horizontal. And again, click the horizontal and the vertical. And now I have uh, most of my wheel going on there. I'm going to close out of the fillet command. And next thing I want to do is I want to start a center point. Uh, to or an axis that I can revolve this wheel around. Uh, this is going to be a revolved feature. Go back to my drawing and what I want to do here to get my wheel to revolve and still leave this part open here for my uh, axle to go through. All right, This particular hub is three millimeters wide. All right, but to revolve around that, I want it to make it 1.5 millimeter. I'm only going to take 1.5 millimeter 
to make my axis and then my axis will cut right down through the middle and then I'll end up with 1.5 on this side and 1.5 on this side of the axis. Uh, 1.5 plus 1.5 obviously equals 3 millimeters. Alright, so I'm going to go back to my drawing. And I'm going to create that. Um, you know, and what I'm going to do is create a construction line. I'm going to start with just a regular line here. I'm going to click on the line tool. And then I'm going to click over here on construction because this is just a temporary line. It's not a real line. And I'm going to loosely draw this line just right here. And then I'm going to click the escape button to get out of that draw command. I'm going to click on dimension. I'm going to click the end of the construction line and then this corner of my wheel. And that gives me the ability to dimension that. And I said it was 1.5. And I click the arrow to accept. So there is my axis for revolving. Uh, now that I've got everything I need drawn, I'm going to finish the sketch. I got to go up here and click on finish sketch. And the type of uh, three dimensional um, command I'm going to use is revolve. Revolve is like extrude, but it just re it revolves the extrusion in a circle. So I click on Revolve, and since the the only profile is my wheel, the only profile on the screen is my wheel, it's going to automatically select Profile. So I don't have to go over here and click Profile and then click on the profile to get it to select. Uh, one thing I do have to select is my axis, uh, because I have several options here of lines that I can use for a center axis. But I drew this construction line so that I could use it as my center axis. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and it does a full revolve. You see here I have the extents set to full. You can set it to angle to between whatever you want to. We can get to those later. But this is full. And I'm going to click OK to accept it. So far a pretty nice looking wheel. Alright, my next move is to hollow this part of the wheel out. You know, this is just a little toy plastic wheel to go on our F1 racer. So we're going to choose the shell command. So I'm going to click on shell. Alrighty, and most everything is already selected for us. Um, you know, this means um, to extrude to the inside measurement. This means to extrude to an outside measurement. This means to extrude halfway between the inside and the outside measurement. Um, confusing, I know. Uh, we'll probably learn about that sometime later. It's not essential that you learn about that right now. Uh, so I'm going to remove faces. Uh, the thickness that I already have is one millimeter. I'm going to go back to my drawing here. And I don't think it tells me, uh, but I can get it to tell me here real quick. I'm going to click dimension. I'm going to click right there on the center of that line. Well, maybe not. Escape. Click dimension again. Reset it. Click on this dot to this dot. And it is one millimeter. Okay, so my, my actual, the shell of my wheel is one millimeter. So again, shell, one millimeter is already selected. Now I'm going to select the inside face of the wheel. Okay, and then I'm going to select OK. And now, as you can see, it has hollowed out my wheel. It looks like a nice little plastic toy wheel. All right, and next thing I might want to do is color it several ways you can color it. Um, I like to use, actually you can go over here to material. So you can find something called rubber. PQRS rubber. Okay, and it's already colored black for you if you want it to uh, remain that color. Or if you want to add some kind of texture to it, there's another, and actually other colors as well. Um, if I can remember what it was, there's a black, I think it's just plain black. Black, okay, plain old black right here. And that kind of gives it a like a texture like a tire would have. And then there's your wheel. Okay. So after this, I just save what I've got. I click the save button here and it says part two. So I want to change this to wheel. And I think I've already got a wheel in, in my uh, folder, so I'm just going to call it wheel 2. And then save. That's how you make a wheel.